فيرتكس تو باي سابا بيشي تاكاهيرو جيمس The Vertex tube was discovered by Renke Hirsch. It's a mechanical device work as a cooling machine without virion. The Vertex tube can reach to minus 50 Celsius in the cold side outlet and 200 Celsius on the hot side outlet. As shown in the figure, the mechanism of the Vertex tube, where is the air compressed in yellow color entering from the inlet nodules to the exit of the hot side. Where is the low temperature in blue start from the tube center and the high temperature in red leaving the center tube to the hot side outlet. We chose a screw for our heated exit. We chose a screw as it will have a point that will separate the flow of air, threads that will catch on the side of a pipe, ensuring that the air does not push out the screw, and th using the threads, creating small opening allowing the air to escape. For the other end, the cold exit, we made an optimal orifice. To ensure that this orifice was optimal, uh, various holes were drilled in plastic and was tested against the pipe. Table one shows the results of the temperature differences by changing orifice diameter at the cold side. At the end of the cold side of the vortex tube, a plastic seat with a small hole was set to prevent the hot air from coming out to the cold side. This test was conducted to determine what side of the orifice is the best size to make a large temperature difference. According to Table 1, the best temperature difference was measured when the orifice diameter was 0.147 inch. It was supposed as the orifice got smaller the temperature difference increased. However, 0.147 inch was the best in this test. The reason why the 0.113 and 0.089 inch got the smaller temperature difference was considered that the size of orifice was too small for all cold air to come out. This test was conducted to determine the best length of the hot side of the vortex tube. The length was from the inlet to the end of the hot side. The length of the hot side was first 21 inch. By changing the length by 1 inch, the temperature difference was measured. As shown in table 2, as the length decreased, the temperature difference increased. The reason why this tendency appeared was supposed that the loss of energy was reduced by making the length short. Table 3 shows the data for calculating the coefficient of performance of the vortex tube and the result. All the calculation was done by using the below equations. According to Table 3, the value of GOP of the model was higher than expected. The reason why the vortex tube model could get the high GOP was supposed that the chosen PVC pipe for the vortex tube had the small diameter and the more temperature difference was measured by finding the best orifice diameter for the cold exit and the length of the hot side. Table 4 shows the uncertainty of GOP. The reason why the uncertainty of GOP is large is the uncertainty highly depends on the measurement of temperatures of cold and hot side. When measuring the two temperatures, their values were changing all the were changing all the time and not constant. In the measurement, the highest and lowest values for hot side and cold side were recorded. Therefore, the uncertainty is very big number for the GOP. Due to time constraints, many ideas have not been tested and improved on the vortex tube. Firstly, the length of the vortex tube is not optimal. From the following trend, a smaller length is theoretically more optimal. Another design that was not implemented was using medical needles for the inlet flow. And needles will have less energy loss than the current design due to a gradual decrease of area, but was not implemented due to the difficulties in finding needles. Uh, 